Okay, people. So, um, manscaping, right? This is uh, a new one that I checked out, right? And from the title, I had no clue what the fuck this was going to be. You know what I mean? And I didn't expect it to be what it was, right? Uh, essentially, a film about barbers, right? Um, so, it is um, directed by Broderick Fox. He also produced, um, edited, and handled cinematography. Um, another producer on it is Lee Biolos, right? And he also handled the sound. Um, we had Ronit Kirchman. She was the um, composer so she did the music. Uh, then Scott Johnson, he's also um, he also handled the sound, edited the music, right? So yeah, that was our crew. Um, it followed three barbers. Yeah, so we had well two barbers, right? And then there was Darren no, Devan Shimoy Ama, right? Who's a painter and a photographer. Okay. We then had Jesse Anderson, who is a barber, and Richard Savvy, who, uh, yeah. He is, uh, he, I think he might have had the most interesting story just in the way they laid it all out, right? And he's a barber. I think he was a hairstylist and he became a barber um, and some other stuff, <laughs> which you kind of thought, we, like, yeah, I was a bit like, no, there's got to be more to that dude, right? Because... The way you looked at him, he's like, I don't know if he's making, like, bank just doing a barbering, you know? So the film, this is the gist, right? Manscaping is an intimate documentary portrait of three, three, three queer men who are reimagining the traditional barbershop. Devon Shimoy Ama is a black and American artist fast on the rise whose barbershop painting series draws upon Afrofuturism and drag to envision the black barbershop as a more inclusive space. Jesse Anderson is a young transgender Canadian barber and proprietor of Big Bros Barbershop, where transgender non-conforming and queer customers know they won't have to go back into the closet to get a haircut. And uh, Richard Savvy, Australia's naked barber, yes, you yeah, heard that right, is a fetish barber, porn actor, and former Sydney Mr. Lever, who invites you to leave your shame and clothes at the door and to add the transformative power of kink to your cut. Their stories, artistry, and Activision model ways um, we can cut through the toxicity of male fragility in favor of social inclusion and personal freedom. So, uh, yes, that's that. Now, the, the directors, they had a, a, a statement, um, which is on their website, right? So it said, uh, so this is from... Um, yeah, our director, Broderick Fox, right? It says, I entered into production on manscaping, driven by my own complex matrix of desires and fear elicited by barbershops and the impulse to scrutinize those feelings more deeply while exploring the lives, work, and the experiences of other queer artists and activists linked to these masculinist spaces. I grounded the production process of manscaping within clear stylistic and ethical approaches and a number of driving questions without limiting myself to a fixed 
or predetermined sense of what the film would become. This combination of preparation and trust reflects a new level of confidence in my creative process, making room for active exploration and the element of surprise, both for myself and for audiences. I think of the documentary's potential as being inherently queer, using intersection alert, in, ugh, intersectional and interdisciplinary frameworks to unpack perceived norms. Manscaping is an experimental documentary that uses barbering and body hair as a means of questioning historical and cultural ideas about masculinity and manhood in the West. My own queer perspective and the stories of other LGBTQ plus and marginalized individuals are recentered in my media works, connecting audiences with issues and perspectives that have traditionally been exercised from or sidelined by mainstream media. My pursuit began with autobiographical acts in works like The Skin I'm In, shifted to biography with Zen and the Art of Dying, and has now extended outward to transitional assembly works in manscaping. I'm going to leave it like that. If you want to hear more, go to uh, the Manscaping website, which is linked in the episode information, people. But, yeah, so we, we you know, we follow these people, right? We start off with, um, with uh, Devan, right? And he talks about going to barbers and, you know, not really connecting with it. But I will say, I kind of think that is a thing, right? Because I mean, barber shops, they're, a, they're an interesting place, right? And I don't necessarily think it's just, right, you, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's just queer people that will have an issue with a but like a barbershop can be irritating as fuck right because the problem is oftentimes you go and uh, you know what I mean like the people that own it or the barbers that are renting chairs there they've got their friends they've got their peoples who always come in and jump the line and it's irritating as fuck right? They'll be on the phone for ages, or just, you know what I mean? And it, it, it can be frustrating. <laughs> like, they can be very fucking frustrating. So I, I think there's a lot of people that can have issues with, I, I remember going to one spot, and the dude was trying to get me to go to his fucking church, and just kept, I had to block his number, because my friend gave him my number, and he kept him going, he's like, oh, do you want to come to the church? I'm like, no. Oh, I don't go to church, son. Stop bugging me. Right? And it's just like, Ugh. it can be frustrating. So, yeah, it, it, it's, they can be odd spaces. But then they can also be fun. You can catch a mad joke in there. But it's about, I think mean, it's finding the places that work for you. And that is the experience of these guys, right? They, they're trying to find those spaces that work for them, you know, like, and yeah, so Devan starts off talking about it. And then it's like how those experiences kind of came out in his art, right? And he created, started his barbershop series. So that was interesting. And also, I, I just think his style of drawings, paintings, right? Because it's very multimedia, it's using different kind of techniques, different materials. And that's really interesting, you know? We then go with Jesse Anderson. And it's funny because they, they, they show some exterior shots. And I'm like, I swear. That looks like Vancouver. And then it comes up, thank you. I was like, yo, yeah. Ah, okay. Love Vancouver, man. Um, and yeah, so Jesse's talking about 
his experience um transitioning and like his relationship with hair right which was you know i would say like that was an interesting one because he was just like oh you know i mean I, I, i didn't initially want a load of hair right and so yeah he's talking about that and then how he's creating this space right now the one thing he did say is just like the space is for everyone but then it's just like but you know queer black you know what I mean jump to the jump to the front of the line it was like wait what <laughs> I don't understand what do you mean did you make an appointment surely uh you know what I mean but it was interesting with um you know what I mean because it it because at first when we first meet him he's like oh I wanted to create this inclusive space and you see it and he's just cutting hair and you're just like I mean you're cutting hair right which is cool but what like what else are you I don't understand but then as we you know follow him more you you see all the different things that he's done so he's incorporated um like some of the needs of people on their transitional journey right so he's made it easy for them to get certain things because he's got it in a shore and you'd be like that's that's a decent thing man because right it, it must be difficult to um you know I mean work out like oh what how do i do that or you know I mean where would i buy this thing right what a, like what's a good one to get and just all these questions so the fact that you know jesse then has this stuff in the shop it it kind of really makes it simple and and you know where people might be like oh, i don't really want to have to go to that place and buy it what if people you know it's just like they don't have to so i thought that was an, a decent thing that was a nice thing now like he, he talked about certain things that i guess you wouldn't necessarily consider right the prosthetic penises and things like that and it's just like what huh I don't feel like I wouldn't even have thought that would be a like not a thing to want one, but some of the stuff he talked about in that whole choice. And you're like, okay, interesting. All right. So um, yeah, that that was a, it was like interesting seeing, you know, Jesse's part of the story. And yes, uh, as I said, look, when we got to Richard right because the, the, they show it at first and he's just he's cutting hair but then they pan down and you do realize he's naked and you're just like it then he's just like oh well you know i was a hairstylist and did all of this but oh, i was looking for a new challenge and one day i just said naked barber and everyone was just like oh yeah and you're like wait what <laughs> Did they really say that? You know what I mean? Like, it, it just seems like the honest thing to uh, decide to do, right? And, uh, you know what I mean? There's questions about it because you think the, the, the height of the chair, where you're standing, so you're just like, hold on. Hold on a second. So... The more we got into Richard's story, right, the more you're like, yeah, obviously, right? That makes more sense now because I don't think you can do that solely, right? It, just that on its own. Because I think it's maybe, when I say limiting to the business, but like with a barbers, you can have loads of people sitting there waiting around. But with this one, you're not going to have that. So it kind of limits your customer base, right? And the amount of people you can do within a day. So it's just like, yeah, when the, when the curtain comes back and we have more and more into what Richard does, you're like, okay, yeah, 
But I mean, that makes sense, right? I understand now. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was just like, okay. <laughs> Maybe some of the acting, like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't think an Oscar's coming. But it looks like Richard is having a lot of fun. <laughs> so, but all those stories are so different, right? It, it's based around this one thing, the barbershop. But, yeah, we get all of these experiences that are, are very, very different. I mean, I, I did feel there were certain questions that you think, ah, I, I wish they had asked that. Or, you know what I mean, looked a little bit, more into this idea is they talk about the barbershop you know toxic masculinity like that's something that gets thrown out all the time but i you know what i mean i don't think it's across the board right i i i just think there's as i said at like at the, at the jump there's different experiences everyone has with the barbershop right so i i think that's one thing, right? There was um a, another um a trans person in Jesse's uh shop, Big Bros, right? And they were talking about the difference between women's and males' haircuts, right? But I will say because yeah, women's haircuts, like when you go with a friend or your girl or whatever, and it's and they talk about the prices, it's just like what the fuck? Fuck, that's insane. But then you see what that fucking experience is, right? I think I remember going to, I think it was Tony, Tony and Guy. I feel it's Tony and Guy, right? And yeah, the chick I was dating at the time, they gave her like wine or champagne, one of the two, right? She's getting that. And it's not just one small glass it's just you know they kept it coming right and th there's washing blow dry like there's so much right where you go to a barber's you sit down and they'll you know what I mean? just cut your hair do a little spray afterwards but it's not the same production so some of that price it goes into it's not a you know, a, a straight up comparison in what happens. So, I, I, yeah, there were certain questions and things that I think, oh, it would have been interesting to kind of explore that a little bit more. You know what I mean? Do do a little bit more, ask some different questions and all of that. But all in all, it, it's interesting, right? And as I said, certain things come up that may be you didn't, you know, necessarily think about, consider around all of this, you know, definitely not going to a naked barber's, right, <laughs> that's just, you know what I mean, it's just, yeah, uh, not really about feeling, but then neither is like naked butlers, naked cleaners, it's just a bit like, mm, nah, <laughs> Uh, but hey, to each their own, right? You know, I mean, if that's something you want, then Richard's gonna take care of you. Um, you're gonna have to fly to Sydney, but hey, it's there, it is there. So, yeah, people, a manscaping, it is uh, it's an interesting one, it's definitely an interesting. Um, and you need documentary people. So, yeah, if that sounds like you, then, uh, you know, go check it. And, yeah, the links, website, boom, boom, it's all in the episode details. So, yeah, maybe uh, give it a little perusal.